Okay, so I welcome you once again in our channel Eduethics. And so today I am going to tell you about our new topic that is latitude and longitude and it's and I'm going to take here a overall revision or you can say an overall review of this chapter with you. So are you ready for that? So I'm really sure that you are absolutely ready for the revision or you can say an overall revision or a review of this chapter. So we are not going to study in detail but but we are just going to read the chapter and go through it. So it is a not it's not a whole chapter but it's a chapter review you can say of lot uh, of latitudes and longitudes so it's a chapter of geography as you know i have also made the video of this chapter in our previous classes so hope so uh, hope you have seen that videos also but for now we are going to focus on our today's topic let's start fine so we are going to study about chapter 2 of geography that is latitudes and longitudes. So it's a new topic for you. No, it's not a new topic but yeah, interesting topic. So chapter review. So as you know, globe is a true model of earth. You know how globe is looks like? It's a true model of earth. It looks like a real earth, but exactly it's not a earth. It's a model of earth. So, globe is a true model of earth. And a needle is fixed to the globe in a, in a tilted manner, which is called its axis. So, as you know, that our globe has two points on their to on their north and their south and so they are known as the needle of the globe okay so it is so the points are in a tilted manner and that tilted manner and that needle is known as the earth's axis okay and what are the two axes of earth do you know that let me tell you so the two uh, Axis of Earth are North Pole, North Pole, and South Pole. Okay. Now, do you know the value of North Pole and South Pole? So, the value of North Pole is 90 degree. See here. Focus on what I'm writing. So, 90 degree north is the value of north pole. And if I were, if I were write 90 degree south, so it is the value of south pole. So, these are the two tilted uh, manner. So, these are the two needle of earth which is called its axis. Okay. That's now let's move to the next part. So next part is the imaginary line. So the imaginary line I'm pointing out everything for you. The imaginary line running on the globe divides divides it into divides it into two equal parts and this line is known as the equator so you have already learned in your previous chapters of geography that the line which is passing through our earth and dividing the earth into two equal parts as latitude as a latitude so i hope you have you uh, got the idea of latitude and longitude so 
maybe you uh, i think i think so that you know what are longitudes and latitudes but if you don't know let let uh, let me tell you so please if you don't know please focus on that that i'm right what i'm writing so the lines which are long which are running straight they are known as what they are known as a uh, longitudes because they are long and if i'm going to talk about latitudes so they are horizontal so they are known as latitude okay so i hope you understand the basic of longitude and latitude now let us see what is written in your book okay so the equator is dividing our earth into two equal parts as a lot uh, as far as a lot uh, latitude so it's our earth and it's a main line that is passing through our earth and dividing our earth into two equal parts and the value of equator is 0 degree 0 degree it is on the center of the earth and dividing our earth into two equal parts in the middle right so the two poles are called parallels of latitude now all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallels of latitude latitude are measured in degrees so please note that line again that all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallels of latitude it means now if i am going to make a earth so it's a equator suppose it's a equator i'm marking it as a black color again i am doing it so i'm making the equator here which is dividing our earth into two equal parts now i'm making the latitudes so all the latitudes which is which are up to the poles these are called parallels of latitude they are what known as as parallels of latitude so it's a important point that you have to note on your own okay so latitude are measured in degrees latitudes are measured in what in degrees okay now as we move away from the equator the size of the parallels of latitude decreases okay now if i'm going to make a earth see i'm making some of the i'm making the parallels of latitude so it's 0 degree earth i mean equator this is 20 degree 30 degree and this is 60 degree and it's i'm making as 80 degree then this part is your 90 degree that is your north pole now if i am going if i will move to the north this will measure as your 90 degree north 80 degree north 60 degree north 30 degree north 20 degree north right but if i will but If I will see the parallels of latitude down to the equator and up to the south pole, so they are measured in degrees. But see here, I'm writing. So this is this is twenty degrees south, yeah. Then thirty degrees south, and also here I'm writing this sixty degrees. But we can also write it as Minus twenty degrees so south, minus twenty degree, then minus thirty degree. I'm all. I can also write as minus sixty degree. Okay. So this is an important thing that you have to note. The, uh, you have. You can go through the chapter on your own. Don't worry. You can complete your syllabus soon. Row. Okay. Now the four par. The four important parallels of latitude are. Now there are. Uh, four important parallels of latitude that are given here first is tropic of cancer 
and its value is 23 and a half degree north second one is your uh, tropic of capricorn its value is your 23 degree and 30 and 23 degree and a half degree 23 and a half degree south here it is written as south because you know what tropic of cancer if you will see in this image uh, where is that image okay it's here's it is not yeah you can see this image is very very important and you have to see this image very carefully so here you can see the you know, it can be asked from you see So here you can see frigid zone. This is also frigid zone. Okay. Then on the top it is see here. I cannot. Uh, yeah. You can see. God. So here you can see North Pole. Its value is 90 degree. And South Pole its value is also 90 degree. But the value of North Pole is 90 degree North. And the value of South Pole is uh, 90 degree South. Then it comes frigid zone. You can see here frigid zone. It is also frigid zone. So these are the zones. You should remember. The zones are frigid. There are three types of zone. Frigid zone, temperate zone and torrid zone. Now here you can see the torrid zone. It is little bit of up to the equator. Here is a torrid zone and it's too hot. The sun raises comes. You can... Um, exactly in this point the sun rays comes okay and frigid zone is too cold you maybe cannot survive in frigid zone and you can also maybe cannot survive in torrid zone but but i'm going to talk about if i'm talk if i can talk about torrid temperate zone so here the sun rays is slanting right it comes like slanting so it's maybe you can say fine so now you see here north temperate zone and south temperate zone am i right yeah so the value of topic of capricorn is so the value of topic of cancer is 23 and a half degree north and the value of topic of capricorn is 23 and a half degree south and you know what present zone is between south pole and antarctic circle okay and so and south temperate zone is between antarctic circle and tropic of capricorn okay then it comes as torrid zone torrid zone is between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn or between equator and tropic of cancer or between equator and tropic of capricorn then it comes now north temperate zone so that is south temperate zone and now i'm going to talk about north temperate zone so north temperate zone is between what between antarctic circle and tropic of cancer between arctic circle and tropic of cancer so you know what the value of um and arctic circle is 66 and a half degree north so i hope you understand so i hope you understood the this diagram and if you want more so please write in the comments box uh, comment box that what are the requirement requirements that we can provide you so don't worry we will come up with so many ideas for you now we are going to talk about the next one that is huh so now we are talking about about the four important parallels of latitude so they are first of all tropic of cancer tropic of cancer the value of tropic of cancer is 23 and a half degree north then it comes 
ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकोन द वैल्यू ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकोन इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड हाफ डिग्री साउथ देन इट कम्स आर्ट इक सर्कल एंड इट्स वैल्यू इज सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड हाफ डिग्री नॉर्थ एंड देन इट कम्स एंटार्टिक सर्कल एंड इट्स वैल्यू सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड हाफ डिग्री साउथ नाउ हीट जोन्स ऑफ द अर्थ लेट अस स्टडी अबाउट हीट जोन्स सो यू नो दे आर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ हीट जोन्स नंबर वन इज टॉर्ट जोन and it is written here then second is your temperate zone third one is your frigid zone so now let us study about these three the torrid zone receives the maximum heat so it is that why it is too hot because it it receives the, the maximum heat Now, if I talk about temperate zone, so it is moderate, not so hot, not so cold, not so hot, not so cold. It is not so cool or not so hot. It's moderate. So that's why it is known as temperate zone. Okay, so temperate zone has moderate temperature. Now, if I will talk about frigid zone, it is too cold. Frigid zone has cold climate. As the sun rays always slanting, right? So that's why it is too cold. No sun rays come come in this area, in the frigid zone area. Now longitudes. The line of reference running from the north pole to the south pole are called meridians of longitude. Now we are going to talk about longitudes. So. In the in the latitudes we have talked uh we have talked about what are uh, parallels of latitude right and in this in longitudes we are going to study about meridians of longitude so the line of reference run running from north pole and south pole all the lines that are running from north pole and south pole so that are the meridians of longitude because they are long that's why it is known as longitude now the the distance between them are measured in degrees of longitude and you know what all meridians are of equal length the meridians you know that all the if i am talk about all the latitudes so they are not equal only one is equal that is a equator now the meridian which passes through greenwich where the british royal observatory is located is called the prime meridian so prime meridian you know what prime meridian is dividing our earth into two equal parts as a longitude okay so it's a meridian which passes through greenwich and uh, where the british royal observatory is located is called a prime meridian now the value of prime meridian is again 0 degree as same as a equator now the value of prime meridian is 0 degree longitude and from it we count 180 degree eastward as well as 180 degree westward Okay, now prime meridian divides the Earth into two equal halves. Okay, so the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. Now one eighty degree east and one eighty degree west meridians are on the same line, and we can also locate any point on the globe if we know its latitude and longitude. Now longitude and time, as the Earth rotates from west to east. those places do uh, those places east of greenwich will be ahead of greenwich now time and those to the west will be behind it now the earth rotates in 360 degree in about 24 hours at any place at any place a watch can be adjusted to read 12 o'clock when the sun is 
at the highest point in the sky standard time the local time various places are different so it is necessary to adopt the local time of sun as center meridian of a country as the standard time now here you can see 82 and a half degree east is treated as the standard meridian of india the local time at this meridian is known as the indian standard time you can see here ist now india is located east of greenwich at 82 and a half degree east is 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of gmt now you know what some countries have a great longitudinal extent and so they have adopted more than one standard time next one we are going to see parallels of latitude so all the imaginary circle parallel to the equator are called parallels of latitude and these circles have varying centers and all these center points lie on the same line the axis of the earth meridians of longitude all the imaginary circles perpendicular to the equator are called meridians of latitude longitude i mean and this circle have the same center which is also the center of the earth the midday sun directly faces the area between the tropic of tropics of can tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn so the heat receives maximum at this latitude and this latitude falls under the torrid zone now india and the United Kingdom lie on the different altitudes. Each degree or longitude corresponds to the difference of 4 minutes. And this is because the earth rotates in 360 degree in, 30, in 24 hours. 1 degree in 4 minutes. The standard meridian of time is 82 and a half degree. And that of London is eight at uh, 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 London is zero degree. This means a difference of four minutes into eighty two point five is equal to three hundred three hundred thirty minutes is equal to five point five hours. So when it is twelve noon in London, it is five thirty p.m. in India. Now remark, a remark is also given here. You have to read it. So it is, yeah. Actually, the number of longitudes is infinite. We can draw longitudes of any degree of any degree value. We show in diagrams distinct distinct longitudes just for our convenience. Example: the number of longitudes can be three sixteen, shown as gap of one degree, one eighty shown as every two degree and so on as we wish so that's how our uh, topic is completed so uh, we have completed with our overall revision of this topic so it's just a overall revision of this topic and if you see if you want to see my full video for this chapter so you have you can uh, Go to uh, you can go through our channel and you can also search our not only this chapter video you can also search any chapter video for class six to nine. So I hope you enjoyed on this session with a of uh, the perfect fun we have done. But actually I think that we have studied very seriously. So don't worry, we will also do fun after completing our full syllabus that we have learned in edu ethics so don't worry we are i'm just recapping the chapters for you that we have learned i hope you understood the topic that we have covered today thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe to our channel thank you so much